Happy Sunday from the Mermaid Room. I was just about ready to go play some Destiny 2 on PS4 when I glanced over here to see the full body of this corkscrew anemone hanging out. I've made adjustments in the lighting for both of my aquariums and right now middle of the day I'm having a sort of a dim out and it has helped considerably on my diatom bloom for both aquariums. Um, I'm having seasonal diatom. Well I don't really know. Um, you know this tank is cycling and I've been thinking that Red Sea Reefer 525 was cycling after the new light fixture. But, um, so it was recommended to me that I, you know, shut down the lights for a, a short period of time, do a, a daytime breakup to, like, stall algae growth during the high, you know, period of the lighting. So anyhow, that's what I've done. And this tank is sort of, um, I think the light's starting to come back on again, but I thought if you had never seen one of these and his pistol shrimp, of course his shrimp just sort of disappeared, I don't know, wandered off. And now I'm hearing the pistol snapping over here. And the lights are also at that uh, stall mode, I call it, during the middle of the day. I had turned them completely off for about a 24 hour period, hoping to just really get rid of some of the diatom. And my rock anemone, who was in a completely different area, started to wander off, which I, I've always felt that he was right kind of in a high flow return area uh, on the end of the tank where he was initially. He, he was living here for actually several months, but the water hits the wall of the aquarium after it goes through the gyre, hits the wall, goes down, and swoops along the bottom. And he was just right where it was bouncing down. I, I don't know how he made it for all those months because he was always full of sand. So I think that I pushed him over here hoping that he would find a happy place. But he seems like he's, you know, if he wanted to move, he can move. He's got a foot, he, want, he can wander, just like his little friend right here. And they were set in the aquarium at the same exact location. But this guy found this side of this rock that gets a lot of flow, and he settled in to stay. Um, just since my last video, a few days ago, really, a week ago, I can't get over how crazy this coral is sprouting these arms. And this is mid down, actually lower section of the aquarium, right down here. So it's going ape, especially since it's a new light fixture. up this Monty, it actually has teeny tiny little yellow spots and you're not going to get to see them with this camera. But it likes this place, it's growing. Can't even tell that that's actually glue on there, it's kind of covering it. Um, my chalice, I had to keep an eye on it. He's wanting to reach out to the front glass, so I'm always using the um, mag float because the mag float just fits past it now, and I'm wheeling around there and trying to discourage him from getting too close because yeah, he's just turned into a big old plate right there. Today I just set up 
a new program. I watch Anton Post, and he was talking about something he started dosing, the ATI Essentials, one, two, three. <laughs> There's my, my mixed buckets. And uh, I've already filled my dosing pump and set the pump over here with the elements, one, two, and three. It's an ATI Essentials program. And so we're gonna see how that goes. I, I really appreciate all of his <laughs> advice because his aquarium is spectacular. So we're back here at the mermaid room. Come find me on PS4. Let's play some Destiny 2. Bye.